Well, UB's medical school has officially opened its new location on the downtown medical campus. A grand opening ceremony for the Jacobs School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences was held this morning. The $375 million project is expected to recruit 100 world-class physician scientists and medical specialists to work on new treatments. And this is a project that has been years in the making. It's tonight our Adam Benini is taking a closer look at what the opening of this brand new school will mean for the medical campus moving forward. The new home for the Jacobs School of Medicine is the focal point today, but it's actually part of something much larger. The design linkage of this campus enhances and multiplies the expertise and contribution of each of our great institutions here. What Jeremy Jacobs is talking about is the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. Located just north of downtown, it now spans more than 100 acres and is also home to Gates, Convenice, Buffalo General, and Roswell Park, among others. The prospect of putting doctors, scientists, medical residents, and students together in a metropolitan academic health center is attracting additional top clinical and scientific talent to Western New York. The new building contains 628,000 square feet of classrooms and labs, but it's that access beyond to other buildings on campus that students say maximizes the learning experience. The ability to walk across the street and see a patient or to work with physicians firsthand will change the way that we are practicing and learning medicine as students. And so the interaction on campus stands to be positive, but just off of campus, it's a bit of a different story in some of the neighborhoods that surround it. We talk with Dr. Benjamin Cashaw, who is president of the Fruit Belt Coalition, who says he would like to see those connected to the medical campus contribute to a new community center there, for example. And as a landlord, he says that rents have gone up 25 to 50 percent over the past 10 years. That's good and bad, depending upon who you talk to, of course. I'm Adam Benini, Channel 2 News.